something that is probably well overdue because it's been a long, long time since I've made one of these videos. And that is indeed an ASMR Jeff video. I absolutely love Jess and it's been a wee minute since I've made a video here on the channel playing in so I thought as it's got a little bit popular again lately, why not make a video for you to all relax, to have a little bit of fun and uh, enjoy watching me play a game of chess and that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be playing against someone random from around the world on chess.com. Hopefully I can win for you all. We'll see how things go. And uh, more importantly, I hope that you all enjoyed the night's video and so if you do why not consider giving this video a big thumbs up really helps out support the channel and means a lot to me and uh, if you're new here and you're not already subscribed why not consider subscribing help us reach 200,000 subscribers and uh, yeah without further ado let's jump in do some ASMR chess. Alrighty, everybody, everybody, buddy, 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 buddy. Here I am on chess.com. And we're just going to go into a new game here. And uh, I thought I would play on. 30 minute um, time scale. You know, play a little bit of rapid jazz. I think I prefer rapid jazz to uh, blitz. Uh, I'm not so good at blitz actually. I prefer the time. I prefer, you know, taking some time whilst playing jazz because it is a nice, relaxing, peaceful game. And uh, I know you're probably thinking 30 minutes is a lot of time, but uh, it does allow me to give plenty of time to think over my moves and uh, discuss them with you all and, you know, make sure we have a nice, good, fun, relaxing game. So, hope you all enjoy. And uh, with that being said, let's hit play and search for an opponent. the white pieces and I'm going to open up with pawn to d4 which is the queen's pawn opening and I think I've pretty much always played this when I play as white uh, partially because the uh, favorite my favorite openings my two favorite openings are the Catalan and uh, also the Queen's Gambit, which is, uh, you may recognize from the uh, TV series. Uh, my opponent responds with d5 pretty quickly. And so I think I'll play the Queen's Gambit in this case. And we'll see what pans out from here. Uh, now I must say before we go into this game, just a quick disclaimer. Um, I am no chess professional. Uh, I'm just, you know, a little chess enthusiast trying to have some fun, make a nice video for you all. So um, if I say anything that might be wrong or play any horrific moves, I very much so apologize. And, um, you know, take everything with a pinch of salt. Um, especially if I give any tips, shall we say. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's see. So my opponent has captured on c4, so we have entered the Queen's Gambit. Accepted, which I enjoy, and I think I will respond with e3. Developing my bonds a little bit, creating a nice structure here on the black squares. 
also opening up my bishop for a potential um, development with tempo, shall we say. Um, and my opponent has defended this with b5, pawn b5. Now, there is a little line here which I think I'll give a go, which is if you play a4, your opponent obviously could capture. If they capture, I can just recapture with check with my queen, uh, which gives me the opportunity to win back the pawn. Uh, but if my opponent tries to defend like this, I capture, if they capture, I have this nice move here, queen f3 which um, pretty much loses the rook or the knight. Um, so let's see if I play a4, what will my opponent do? a6 also loses the rook if I capture and they capture. It's a nice little trick I learned. Okay, so they play a6. So I'll take this pawn Unfortunately, for one ch watch forty seven has uh, lost them the rook, and uh, they have now played bishop b seven. Okay, so obviously, I now have to maneuver my. or whatever, 
or played any bad moves. I'm sorry if I did. Maybe even some of you are complete beginners, in which case, you know, that's awesome. Um, maybe even new to the channel, in which case, welcome. <laughs> My name's Dido, and uh, I post a whole load of content ASMR style here. And uh, it's been a while since I've made a jazz video, so I'm excited uh, to get back into it. Right, sorry, I've been waffling, absolutely waffling on my opponent. This is why I give myself 30 minutes. <laughs> so my opponent has played e5. Now if I take, they'll probably trade the queens. Um, which, in, honestly, in this case, considering that I'm up the material, I'm pretty happy with. It does lose my castling rights. But, I win a pawn, so I think I'm honestly okay with this. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that entire exchange there. So I won't complain, I'll just try and get my king to safety another way. Um, hopefully if, if they try and move this bishop somehow, I can try and get this pin, pin back. Be quite good. Uh, bishop b4. Mm, let's have a little think here. I could try and just trade it off with something like bishop d2. I'm gonna have a little sit and think here. I'll play watch 47. Uh, is okay with that. They are from the States. They're an 1100 rating. I'm currently um, just over 1200. I played a little warm up game before this, just so <laughs> I didn't play awful. I did win. Uh, maybe I should have recorded that one. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, I've, I've been improving. I've been playing chess for, you know, I'd say about three years now. But I've, I feel like I've kind of at about 1200. I've sort of been 1200 for almost the better part of a year now, but I'm trying to try to get better. I'd love to play it on stream, um, on my Twitch streams, to get better. If I play D2 here, pawn takes. That's all fine by me. The bishop would just have to move. I think bishop D2 is what I'm going to play here. Scotland flag. <laughs> you love to see it. And uh, I've also got my flare. I've got a premium account. So I've got my flare set as the little sleep emoji because, you know, this is ASMR of, as the best style of jazz. Uh, I must say a huge thanks to uh, channel member and viewer John for the gifted membership. It really means a lot. Makes videos like this possible and uh, makes it ever, ever so fun to record. And it also allows me to, to analyze this game afterwards, which is a great way to improve at chess. So I think maybe after this game, it could be a good idea to analyze, analyze our moves. In fact, do you know what I'll do? I'll analyze this game and post it as a members only video. I think that's a fun idea. So if you're a member of the channel, that will be out tomorrow on Members Mondays as a little members only video. So keep an eye out for that. It'll be lots of fun. We'll look over all of my moves, see if uh, any lines I played were good. Um, if I missed any moves, played any inaccuracies. Gosh, hopefully I've not blundered already. Just then moves in. Oh, I'm gonna capture here, by the way, because one of the best things to do in chess when you're up material is just trade down. Um, one of Dido's chess tips. <laughs> um, one of the few that are actually sensible, shall we say. Um, but yeah, that'll be out tomorrow. Uh, 
Uh, so if you do want to see that video, you know, why not consider becoming a member? Uh, it's a great way to support the channel. And uh, you get so many cool perks and benefits with it, such as, well, bonus videos and um, cool badges next to your name, shoutouts and credits, and, uh, you know, extra emojis to use in the comments. And, uh, yeah, so there'll be a link in the description or hit that little blue join button next to the subscribe button to become a member. But of course, you guys don't have to. You can support the channel in different ways. Uh, I think here I'm gonna play Knight E2 with the hope of trying to play Knight uh, D4. You know, you could support the channel for free by dropping a thumbs up on the video if you're enjoying so far. <laughs> something like this. My opponent defends like this. Could I undermine it? I guess I could. But my other plan is if I play knight e2, then I play knight d4 to attack this pawn. If my opponent plays here, I can't capture. That's the issue. But if they play here, I wouldn't capture. I would Pin. Then I'd capture. What if I play knight uh, rook a5? My opponent defends like this. Um, and then I go for the trade like this. That could work. I have a feeling that if I go for this first, though, I have some sort of feeling that my opponent will go for bishop c6 instead. It's probably best not to hope that they'll do it and play the safer move, but I'm not actually too sure what the best line is right now. One of my favorite things to do in chess is try and find the best move, however. Alrighty, let's go for it. I like to sit there and try and find it because there's always a best move. You know, if you ever find what you think is the best move. There's always a better move. Always look for a better move. I should say, there's not. If you think you've found the best move, always look for a better move, because there might be. And I think that's kind of the maths side of me coming out. I love maths. So I always love to look for the best moves. Um, so they did play Bishop a6, which is unfortunate. Um, it's kind of like a chess puzzle. I love the chess puzzles on chess.com. Trying to find the best move. Um, trying to find the best move is like a chess puzzle. And the puzzles are so much fun. I was actually considering making a chess puzzles video instead of playing a game, but I feel like maybe, you know, playing a game at the moment is much more fun than the puzzles, I don't know, it's much, much more fun to watch, maybe. Uh, what could I do here? This is actually tricky. I can't go here, it's defended too well. I need to get my rooks involved. I could get this knight here and here. If I go here, opponent pushes, I take, they take. I'd have to go here. I think that's fine. I'm going to get my other knight involved now. I need to develop my pieces a bit, get some moves in and not just sit here and waffle. Maybe I do make a jazz puzzles video though. That's another jazz video. Let me know if you'd all like to see a video where I do some jazz puzzles. Puzzles, puzzles on the jazz.com website. They have some great puzzles. Um, okay, so. Can I move this knight if I move this knight here? Do, do, do. I'm trying 
to see how I can maybe get some sort of maybe I play something like Bishop E2 to try and get it into play on the, the diagonal here or bring this other knight in get it to here to try and move the bishop I like that I like that let's go for that <clears throat> but I still gotta try and get this bishop on the f1 square into play because it's been sat there since the very start sadly I can't castle but if I try and get this bishop out I could move my king to e2 activating this rook um, if this knight moves, I could even double up at some point. I'd have, probably have to double up this way, though, so it doesn't get taken. But I like that plan of getting the bishop out, activating the rook by playing king e2. Playing king moves are always weird. I always get nervous playing king moves because I always feel like I'm going to miss some sort of check. There are very risky moves. It's the most important piece on the board. And with our opponent, Wunch, 47, castled, and my king kind of in the open. <laughs> I'm not too, not too pleased about that. So we see um, Rook D8. This is actually okay because my pawn defends my um, knight. However, if my opponent's to play something like knight C6, then we have a bit of an issue. So uh, could I stop them from playing? Maybe I should have got my king. Uh, I need to move my king, don't I? Because that's going to be a real issue. I think I'm going to move my king out the way. I don't want to move it here. Because that blocks in the bishop. I guess I could eventually bring it out this way. That could be good. If I play it E2, what will my opponent play? Here. Takes, takes. You know, we're just trading down material, which is fine by me. Here. <clears throat> Do I play it E2? I think I might. I'm going to play to e2. This is going to seem like a crazy move. I don't know you're probably going to comment saying a better move here, but my plan is going to be to fee and get all my bishop. And the reason I play it here instead of here is just so it's not subject to any checks. Or here, check. I guess I would have had take, take. But then I don't like that check. I would have had takes, I guess, but I like this. My knight's in the middle of the board. Both my knights are quite powerful in the middle of the board. Um, you know, they control a lot of squares. Here's another Dido chess tip. <laughs> Having the knights in the middle, you know, they control lots of squares. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Same goes with this one. Whereas my opponent's knights still in pretty much its starting square. Only controls one, two, three squares. Or in this case, one, two, three, four, five, six. A bit limited. Anticipated this move. 
so it's looking to kind of get involved a bit. Why did I anticipate? Again, I can't quite remember. It can't go here. I could be um, a bit cheeky and try and get some uh, some plans for some back rank mates at some point. What is that move all about? I'm honestly not too sure. I don't know where it goes. Is it for pushing takes? Then takes with a check. Ah, uh, it's in case push takes takes. But then takes check. Session, is it? Let's try and get rid of this bishop. Uh, no, I can't. Ah, my king is so annoying. <laughs> um, I'm honestly considering just moving it back here now. That would have made all of this pointless. Pointless, 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 pointless. Let's screw it. Let's play this. It's probably not the right move, but I want to get rid of this bishop. We're probably going to see pawn um, c3, in which case I could just push my pawn b3. If it takes see take back with a check and then I could go here to protect my knight a bit more but then my king is getting really exposed I think if we see c3 I think I will take because I need to get rid of some of these bonds oh wow okay bishop all the way back I don't think that's necessarily maybe the greatest move. We have a free pawn. And I feel like I need to take it. Because it's causing us some issues right now. It's defending this pawn. see here then we'd see this line I could, could just go for my Fianchetto position now yeah let's go for that, let's play G3 try and get in Bishop G2 and then activate the Rook and try and go for this naughty little back rank mate um Maybe some sort of sacrifice could be in play if my opponent moves this. Knight. Well, actually, I'd have to sacrifice it here. Takes and then checkmate. We'll see, we'll see. I want to get this bishop in. Definitely want to get this bishop in, activate the um, the rooks. See, I like this rook being down here to protect all of this and also come in here. But it can also pin everything on this rank. And I think now could be a good time to potentially pin the bishop to the rook. Because the bishop is a bit immobile at the moment. I need to move my bishop though, I really, really do. Ah, if I go here though, I lose my knight. I think I have to take that knight. If I take that knight and my opponent goes here, I immediately want to play this move. But if I go 
here and my opponent goes here. Here, 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 here. This is quite good, actually. Let's take the knight. I'm assuming they're going to take back with the bishop. They do. So now... Do I play this? Or do I play this? No. Which one? subject to a check. So maybe, ah, they're looking to play this maybe at some point. To open up this. So I could try and
think we're still in a pretty solid position, I would say. It's going to definitely be fun analyzing this after and seeing how we've done. I'll link the analysis video in the description as well. But as I said, you know, if you want to check it out, why not consider becoming a member? Member, member. This knight is actually blocking this back rank now, so we do need them to move their knight. Um, and really it's best position is here right now. Okay, so there is the check with the uh, discovered attack on my knight. It is protected by the pawn. So here do I go for the trade, but then check. I just win it. So that wouldn't be good at all. Um, yeah. Let's go for it. I'm trying to force the trade. Okay, so we'll take back. potentially try and make it look like I've plundered. Okay, so here we have C3 takes, takes. I need to do something about that. But if I go here That's all under control. Here, push. Here. Yeah, that's all fine. Let's take this pawn. So now if they take my pawn, I just take their pawn on B4. And if they push, I can just play here. And win the pawn back. And then if they play this, I'll just bring my rook in. And then if they go here, so they capture, so the best move is undoubtedly probably just going to be this. Um, if they play check, you know, I'm all good there. Am I missing anything? Let's see, am I missing anything? I don't think so. as well. I think I'll just take the pawn. Okay, so they've stopped the back rank idea now. So I'll take this pawn back as well. And now I'm just destroying on materials. So let's try and get these rooks off if possible. And just get some fast moves in. Try and trade off the knights. Um, let's go here. I just need to make sure I don't get forked. Do, do, do. Okay, let's go here. Where does it go? There. I play check. my pawns try and get a queen and then we have a quick checkmate so i know this has been a nice long video but i really hope that you have all enjoyed it uh, if you are enjoying so far be sure to click that thumbs up button let's go here um Checkmate lines or anything. 
discuss this video, which if you are a member, I'll link down below. And um, I want to just thank you all so much for watching uh, this nice, long, relaxing video. Uh, I always have fun playing chess, so let me know if you want to see more chess videos and keep an eye out for that chess puzzles video. I think I'm definitely going to make that coming up soon. So if you did enjoy, why not consider giving this video 